you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you from the Kearney Ag Center in Parlier, where today the annual Alfalfa and Forage Field Day was held. Here, feed growers learn the latest on alfalfa and forage research done by the UC Cooperative Extension. And one of the presenters at today's field day was farm advisor Kurt Hembry, who talked about the importance of weed control in alfalfa. Well, I think with alfalfa, uh, it's extremely critical that these producers recognize the importance of weed control within that, that hay crop. It's going to affect everything from TDN to palatability, so you know, when they get it on the market, you don't want to sell it to you know, dairy cattle that don't like the flavor of it, or it's going to um, interfere with their you know, TDN uh, intake, um, as well as being noxious, any of those other attributes. So. Not only from a yield standpoint, but weed control is going to affect some of the palatability issues, which is something we don't often think about in other crops. So it becomes extremely important for growers to recognize some of those weeds, uh, particularly some of the troubling ones like the burning nettles, um, the malvas, the horseweed, the flea banes, um, swine crests, um, things that have a dramatic impact on yield and, and palatability. And then recognizing the treatments that are available. Um, we've got a lot of tools in the toolbox. Got the Roundup Ready systems mixed with some of the other pre and post emergent products um, to give some broad spectrum control on some of the fields to help clean them up. We're looking at some new products at this point um, to help fill some of the gaps in, in terms of the weed pressure, um, some of the problematic weeds. Um, so we're looking at materials like Sharpen. Um, we've got a couple others in the pipeline uh, to help fill the toolbox so your grow growers have more opportunity. Um, and flexibility in terms of what they can and can't use. For most alfalfa growers, I would argue that you really want to have weed-free alfalfa. That's going to bring you the biggest price. It's going to be, bring you the uh, least headache in terms of selling the product. Um, so in doing what you can from an herbicide standpoint, being smart in your selection and trying to eliminate as many of the weeds as possible so they're not, they're not in the, the baled hay. Thank you, Kurt. Learn more about weed management in your feed crops by reading California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.